Hey guys, it's Linda, little bear, or my house plant, um, is what you're seeing. Okay, this Ferguson deal, real quick. I just heard that here in my state, they're saying get prepared for the Ferguson announcement. I live in Washington State, in a rural community. <clears throat> Actually, most people are farmers out here. I, I just can't imagine what the threat from Fer Ferguson's going to be, except I, I don't know what mainstream media is really saying, except what you guys post on a Google feed. So I have a suggestion for that day because they're building, I mean, this police state up over this verdict. And actually, I think the policemen, there should, this should be not by a grand jury because they're pretty, I don't know if you know what a grand jury is, but I think that just... The Peoples should have had a People's Council meeting. Peoples, not City Council meeting. Like, a, you know, people should have got together, all races, and decided, look, got all the information and looked at it, and them who pay the taxes, the salary, should look at this and say, hey, the dude's guilty, murder, or whatever. Whatever you found out, you know, look at it. You'd have to be just completely step out of the box and do it. Fire the motherfucker. Put him in behind bars. And that be the end of it. But not in this old world empire do things go that way. The media is the right hand of the empire. And they're almost like a predictive program. And they're telling you, fear, protest, do this, do that. The Muslims are going to join. The KK is going to join. Um, you know, they're going to take down the water treatment plants, the electrical plants, the this or that. All the way up here in Washington State. They're putting, you know, saying, be prepared. Come on, guys. What? Somebody going to pick on my goat? Now, I know if you live in that area, it's a volatile area. At this point, to you people in that area, I am an activist. I would say the police state wants you to go out and protest. Stay at home. Make a video of shooting your TV with a picture of a mainstream media person on it or a fear porn alternative media thing on it. I'm not kidding. It's time. It's time you shoot the TV. If everybody uploaded videos of shooting a TV with the mainstream media on it, can you imagine what kind of blow that would send to this old world empire saying we are not going to be programmed by you anymore? You're not going to control us? And that's who I would be protesting. I would be protesting against the mainstream media contributing to this because I guarantee you at every protest I've ever been to, there is... At least 10% of the people there are agent provocateurs. I've never been to one that did not have agent provocateurs. So you, I, I imagine there's a lot more agent provocateurs at this one because they've built this up so much. So all I'm saying is I wouldn't protest afterwards. If you want to do it after everybody's left, spontaneously not let everybody know, you know, keep it amongst yourselves, talk in small circles and spread the news. Hey, we're going to protest on this day. And we're not going to damage anybody's buildings. That way the agent provocateurs wouldn't be there. be an excellent idea. But, you know, right now, I think that everybody as a community should come together, talk about what this person did. That'd be it. Anyway, you're looking at my house plant. Do a video on shooting your TV. Put it up on that day the verdict comes in. Do you guys think outside the box a little bit? And the biggest box controlling you is that TV. Hey, we got Peace. a big one in the garage to shoot. <laughs> uh, somebody donated a TV for us to shoot another one. So maybe we'll do it on the verdict of the Ferguson thing. But everybody should do it and upload it on that day. I'm sick of it. Peace, guys.